Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Hello everybody and welcome to a new game. This is a game I've been looking at for quite a while now and they've just released a demo. This is Wandering Village. Now the creature you saw rising up in front of those people just there is what we're going to be building our village on. Let's try something a little bit different. Welcome. Hello friend. My name is Ombus Mumblemore and I'm the village elder here. Our people, the Nyamans, have travelled far and endured many hardships throughout the years. But now we have come across an Onbu, an ancient beast, believed to have gone extinct centuries ago. Our encounter must have been fated. It has most likely been asleep in the ground for a very long time. Maybe it woke up because of the toxins that keep seeping further and further into the earth. The poor thing seems exhausted and has gone back to sleep for now. I once read the Onbu draw their nutrients from the ground so I wonder if it can sustain itself out there. Seems like we need to take care of each other from now on. My experience has brought our people here, but now it is time for you to take over and lead them to a better place. To ease the transition, I can teach you a little of what I've learned. Tutor you even. A tutorial, so you say. What do you think? Yes, I think that would be most welcome. Okay, open the Elder's Notebook with the notebook at the top right corner of the screen. First off, can we pause? We can pause, that's good. Open the... there it is. Yep, looks like we've got all the glossary and how to get things done. Move your camera by clicking and dragging with directional keys. And WASD, that works as well. And to enter on boom mode. I believe that was five. Yes. Oh, oh, he's so Cute. Oh, look, he's got one of the horns broken off. And well, you, I believe, was six. So this is our current location, and as we travel, we will keep moving on. I think these are quarry. Ah, so it looks like we can go to these places, maybe. Or maybe send people to them. You can just use the zoom key to get to the other views. Okay, housing. Just construct, harvest, priority, build. Let's grab some roads. Hmm, lots of forested areas. This looks more rocky. So, well, I don't want to take up all of the forested area. For Let's do this. We have some tents. Ah, holding shift will allow me to place more. Let's have a break. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Should do. And they all start getting to work. Let's grab some more wood. And probably grab some of these stones too. Oh, looks like we've got some berry bushes here too. Yeah, if we harvest them, we should be able to get a bit more food. Now, what sort of resource? We've got food. 50 raw food. Consumption is 13, so we've got enough for now. Now we can also increase the speed by using the number buttons, one, two, and three. Just speed this a little bit. Oh, I think I could hear him snoring. Oh, so cute. There we go, let's pause it. To ensure a steady supply of food and healing, herbs build a farm and a herbalist. Have at least one farm. Assign plots to your farm. Set the amount of workers to your farm to three. Okay. okay. Farm. 
let's set it out here where we've got nice grassy pastures. Seems like a good idea. And um, berry gatherer. Well, we had berries there. Do they respawn? Ah, here's some nice group of berries. Let's try not to put it on the berry bushes. And they might need to come out all the way out here, but that seems like a good number to do. So we've got material storage. Good thing to have in here. Oh, looks like it's getting dark. Dirt road. Now the villagers going off. The designs of the villagers really remind me of a Studio Ghibli film, uh, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind. They had a similar sort of covering. Mind you, they did also have to deal with um, toxins as well that were seeping into the, the earth. So I'm guessing they may have taken a little bit of inspiration. That was an absolutely fantastic film. Um, definitely one of my favorites. I have at least one farm. Oh, that's a berry gatherer, yeah. Ah, they're still working on the farm. Now, you are able to raise the priority, that's good. Though I think that's the only thing we need to do. Okay, so we've got a few idle people. Um, so, let's see, pantry. Store all kinds of wood for the villagers. Well, seeing as we have food coming in from there and food coming in from there. Maybe if we put the pantry here? No, I think the pantry here. That would be a good place. And a little dirt road there. Now, you are restricted to this uh, flat view. You can't move buildings or, or turn them around or anything. But it does lead for a very interesting art style. I've seen this popping up a little bit now, this sort of 2D animation on a 3D world, and it's really quite interesting. Oh, I'm still asleep. Now, I did see. Oh, here we go. Assign plots to your farm. Oh. May as well make use of all the space that we've got. I think just up to there. Might expand it further, but let's see. Let's chop down this. And they are going to be doing beet. Requires one water to plant crops. Ah, we're going to have to worry about water, are we? So, where's our food? Ah, water. We've got 80. Ooh, that's quite a few crops we want to plant. And we haven't got any way to make water yet, have we? So let's look about that. We have a water tank. Stores 100 water. Uh, got anything that produces water? Air well. Automatically extracts water from the air. Okay, that seems good. Uh, let's pop you here, I think. Ah, we need more wood. So let's go chopping wood. Ah, looks like these are gonna produce. Oh, oh, looks like he's awake. Okay. Well, let's get rid of these old. Oh no, that looks like that's harvest. Harvest. Harvest all. Hmm. Oh, can't be mine for wood. Ah, I need a sawmill for that. Okay, so let's grab some of these then. Now 
I do see a research tab here. We have Hornblower, used to issue commands to Unbu, which it may or may not follow. Okay, so mind of its own, allows you to click on crossroads on the world map to decide where to go. Hut, housing for up to six villagers, improves produ productivity of inhabitants, and offers decent protection from poisonous air. Kitchen, makes berries, beets, and on you blood into processed food. Okay, interesting. Yeah, let's research the horn lower. Oh, don't have any research buildings. Okay, research building. Okay, let's grab, say one of them. So we've got some people happy and we've got some crops being made. I'm actually going to remove these ones and just hammer with these ones at the moment just so we don't end up running out of too much water. Oh, set the amount of workers in your farm to three. There we go, that's something we needed to do. So three and have at least one herbalist. Okay, herbalist. Oh, build a farm and a herbalist. That's something we didn't do. There's the herbalist. Plants and harvest herbs for medical use. Plots must be placed on grassy soil. Okay, so let's go here then. This game is from the Stray Fawn Studio. Uh, they're the same people who actually make Niche. I'm not sure whether any of you have seen it but it's a fun little genetic and adaptation game. Um, I was definitely drawn to it because obviously I love my creatures games, but it's much more almost like a puzzle game. It goes very, very well into how uh, recessives and genetics all work and you've really got to watch with inbreeding, but I can only play it for so long. So I'm interested to see whether this strikes my fancy more. So we've got an air well going now. Production. Yeah, looks like we're in a very arid environment, so we're not going to get much production. But, ah, we have research now. So let's research the hornblower. I have at least one herb list. So I'm going to want to set this to priority. We have got some more stones coming. Quick check on the map. Oh, here we go. We've got nomads. Ah, so we might be getting some more people soon. Well, we're probably going to need some more housing then. We're still waiting on some more wood for there. And we're probably going to need some more wood for housing too. So, let's grab some of these. Let's grab a few more tents. Here. I know a bit of banished. I like uh, I like some homes to be next to where they're actually working. Oh, and let's set a herb list. Uh, have a, oh, have at least one air well, and we we'll need a tank. Don't think we need two herb lists. We'll, we will grab one. Let's add a little herb plot. So, water tank. Oh, it makes sense for you to be here. And we're just approaching these nomads. Looks like we're also approaching a new area jungle. Looks like there's no toxicity at the moment. Jungle, quite humid. So we should start generating some water. Yes, we we'll start to generate some water now, which is rather useful because we got rather low. Okay, we've now got more village needs because we have just picked up the nomads. I like that that comes up red. That's really good. It catches your eye and draws you to it. 
consumption's gone up by a little bit and we're producing a little bit but not enough to satisfy all of our villagers by the looks of it unless that's how much they've harvested so far I think that might be how much they've harvested so far. So quite a few beets. Oh, berries. No beets yet. So yeah, I'm guessing all they're counting for their production is just the berries at the moment. The berries are obviously going to be very useful as a quick early food, whereas the beets are hopefully going to sustain them. Now, are they harvesting? No, they're not, because I haven't told them to. And we have got some young trees. So they do grow back. Now what else can we build? Oh. Yeah, I'm loving the art style. It's very, very pretty. Now we've got two idle, four idle. We don't really want you idle, so... If you are going to be idle a bit, let's grab a few trees that are over here. And you can then cart them back. And hopefully, taking them that way, they will be okay. Choose your next research. Well, kitchen, as that's what it wants me to choose. Okay, have at least one carpenter, stone cutter, and kitchen. There's the carpenter. Let's put you there. I'm guessing I'm going to need. Let's put you. Let's not put you there. Let's put you hmm. there. A couple of ropes. Why not? Starting to get our beeps in now. Yep, production's back up. So this will hopefully be enough. It's always difficult in these games balancing your food and other resources because obviously you want to keep your people working, but you don't want them working on stuff that they don't need too much of. Well, let's have a look. We have. Stone. Ooh, June. So yeah, this is what we need the scavenger hut for. Now here's a crossroad. Oh, thinking of, we need to build a hornblower. Ooh, and looks like we need more stone. So let's get the gathering out. Got some more stone. I'm not sure if the stone replenishes itself, but I guess we will find out. Hornblower, there it is. Ah, we need planks for that. Probably put it over here. Oh, you have to put it over here. Ah, okay, yeah. Let's pop you there for now. Next research. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to have to be the scavenger hunt, hut. Yes, we've just reached this. Oh, feeding spot. Well, we want to go down that way anyway. Oh, don't go that way. Ugh. Well, if we'd had a horn blower up, we would have been able to go that way. Maybe, if it had listened to us, I think. Oh, looks like there's another feeding spot there. That's good. And looks like it's sleepy time. Oh, so cute. So, everything's still looking good here. Ah, we have two researchers. Yeah, that seems fine. We don't seem to be running out of people to do things. We also need a kitchen. There 
there is. So we've got food coming in there, food coming in there, and the pantry there. So let's come and stick the kitchen there, there. So let's stick it there instead. Right next to the pantry, that seems like a good place. Now obviously this is only a demo and it's still very early in gameplay. I think the demo is actually only out for this weekend. I think I heard that. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. I will put it up on the screen if I'm wrong. Um, so there's going to be probably going to be bugs and things aren't going to be as polished as they would not normally be in the nook. And things won't be as polished as they will be in the full game. But we shall see. Five idle villagers, so let's sort that out. Food, food seems to be okay. Maybe get a little bit more production going. Yeah, if I move the dirt road here, maybe get a little bit more farm going here. Water's still a little bit low. We could maybe grab another one of these. It's generating, but we might not be in the jungle for very long, so... Let's get another water well, I think. So we have this now, show interactions, lie down, walk and run. No doctor, no feeding, what is that, feeding trebuchet? Okay, that's definitely a way to get this side of the creature to eat. But no pest control, so it's like they will get pests. Okay, we're on the move again. Oh, we did want to build a scavenger hut. So, let's see. Scavenger hut. So these need to be placed on the outskirts. Fair enough. Where to place you? Let's put you... Yeah, let's put you there. Feeding time. Oh look, look how happy he looks. <laughs> I love him. Okay, worker post. That seems like a good place to put it. Okay, open map. We do have a crossroads coming up. We have some poison nomads. So I'm guessing we're probably going to need to get a doctor for that. Uh, lush forest. Hopefully, he doesn't run away too far from them. We definitely need the wood. Okay, let's uh, take you out of there at the moment because we've got enough planks at the moment. Same with slabs. And quite frankly, um, don't quite need them yet, I don't think. Yeah, water's looking much better now. We've got the two going. Food, food stable. Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's go with what they're starring. What they think is going to be right next. So, village doctor. Pop you there, I think. Yeah, and they're gathering all the wood. Oh, that's a lovely amount of wood. Okay, in that case, definitely need to be getting from there. Send party. Yeah, gonna have to always have people out scavenging. Ah, 
Uh, I've got the workers post. Oh, that's not up yet. That's because we need more stone. Okay, well, there's some more stone here. Oh, look at the doctors. <laughs> okay, so you've got two workers. Let's pop you just down to one worker for now until we've got a problem needing more doctors. I don't know if having no doctors would be better at the moment or if having at least one doctor decreases the chance of people getting sick. I'm not sure yet. Now we are going to want the feeding station, but for that we're also going to need actual food for little Onobu. This needed to be on dirt, didn't it? Oh, that's the Onobu kitchen. Resource production. Yeah. Art ecologist. This seems like a good spot. Then again, if we're going to be feeding the Onobu from there, maybe over here? So that it doesn't have to go as far? Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. We can harvest up these while we're here and maybe put a material storage next door. That seems like a good idea to me. Right outside, I want a dirt road. Good. And then add. He's a big boy, he's going to need a lot of food, so let's see if that's enough. <coughs> oh, is this sleepy time? He is. You're such a big creature, he makes very cute little noises. Okay. Oh, housing. Hmm. Or doctor. Let's go housing first, then doctor. I might regret it, but let's see how that goes. This seems to be going nicely. Let's the herbalist. Next, we're going to want an Ubu kitchen. Yeah. And the doctor. Don't think we're going to need the warehouse quite yet. Okay at the moment. And away we go. An over doctor. There we go. And the trebuchet. Let's stick you there. Ah, I've got some stone here. That's good. Now, can we... Yes! So, let's go south. Looks like... Oh, yeah, we're in the mountains. Cold humidity is normal, but that would be the desert in which the humidity would be lower. And we've got food there, so... Let's keep him happy. Food, sleepiness, and no poison level. Seems good. So yeah, let's take the free food that's coming up. First though, we do want to get some housing. So, got the tent. Hut, there we go. So yeah, it takes up two spaces. But it fits a lot more people takes five planks, five slabs. Got enough for that. So, yay. Let's put you there. Shift. That way we've got enough room if anybody, anybody new comes in. Let's go quarry first. Wood seems to be a bit more available. Oh, speaking of which, let's Head on out, we're still collecting stones. Ooh, pollen spawn. 
storm. Toxic cloud of pollens increases toxicity. Okay, so we're gonna want to grab. Where was it? Decontaminator fights the spread of toxic plants in its radius. Ah, this covers a rather large area. What we're going to want to definitely cover as much of this as we can. You there. What do you cost? Uh, it's not too bad. And you there, I think. Yeah, that seems to work quite nicely. Yeah, let's put this... on low. Yeah, that's, that's high. I definitely want to set these two to highest. Let's actually, let's see. Yeah, we're approaching it. Oh, didn't did he stop and eat? I don't think he did. Let's tell him to lie down. Nope, I'm not gonna. Oh, yes! He's gonna listen to us. That's good. If we can just hold him down here for a bit. So he's gotten back up now. We don't have much choice in this, but hopefully that's bought us a little bit more time. So here we go. Let's reduce the worker by one. Oh yes, I'm definitely getting Nausicaa Valley of the Wind vibes here. Very nice. Yep, that should help there. Oof. Yep, not good. Not good at all. Remove all poisonous plants from Ogu by using the harvest tool or the decontaminator building. Okay. You, you, got some mushrooms here too. Workers' post, that's transport. Switch you to harvest. Yeah, we're going to need a few more people harvesting. Because we're going to want to get them removing these bad bad plants. Yeah, these are starting to spread here. Sleep time. Poison level 31%. Oof. We are going to need to heal him. Oh, bad plants. Yeah, get rid of these. these yet. Unfortunately I can't tell him directly to get rid of it. But I can set that to prioritise. That's good. There we go. Just had to use priority. Dealt with. Let's have a full check. Yeah, these are not being removed yet. So let's set priority up here. Oof. Yeah, this stuff quickly spreads. Let's 
really have to watch where you're going. Yep, they've even got little flying torches. Ah, good. They are moving them. And that should be it then. Yep. There we go. There's a house. There's six beds there, so these will definitely give us a lot more space there. Uh, let's grab a sawmill. We can get rid of these big piles. Actually, we've got the stone mill now. Quarry, that's it. So, what's the quarry actually say? Juices stone by mining boulders on the back. Yep, here's a boulder. in both ways. That's not medium and medium. So yeah, they're both going to be pretty bad. We are definitely going to need the doctor for the Anobu setup. There's the doctor, so much higher priority there. Now we've got these houses with good on housing. Let's see if we can get him to lie down a bit. He can. Just slow down his progression to the poisoned area. I mean, the actual mountains have got a little bit of poison anyway, but it'll be a lot less than if he's going through that poisoned area. Yeah, I'm going into it now, so. Let's see. Run. Nope, didn't look like he wanted to do that. So, let's get you guys and pop a couple of you in here. Oh, he's getting really sick. To get that doctor's up now. Yeah, just need to construct it now. Okay, now let's get rid of the. Oh, there's a lot here, isn't there? Yeah, let's take all of these out as soon as possible. Yep, burning it away. If any of you haven't seen Nautica, Valley of the Wind, watch it. It is just fantastic. It really is. Yeah, this is spreading fast. I think it definitely needs to sleep. Oh, we're going to another spore cloud. Let's get him to sleep before he goes in there. At least try. There we go. You get some. <laughs> hey. Really? There we go. Antidote. Oh, this has been terrible. Gonna need to build another one of them. Let's go there. Oh. I just do not have the power to clear it enough. Yeah, this is definitely gonna need to be built to, to really handle that. Yep, and then let's stick. Step five in them. We need to clear this area fast. Getting too many people sick from it. In fact, how are we doing on herbs? We're doing okay, but I'm gonna add one more person here and increase 
the amount of herb space we're growing. I think we're going to need it. Food still stable, water still stable too. Yeah, they're able to cope with this much easier with the flamethrowers. Okay, we're going to the spore cloud. Will you run? You will! That's good. Let's get out of this as fast as possible. help both of us out. Oh geez, look at these patches. Okay, you need these two. You need these two. I just can't keep up with it. Think this is gonna be a lost mission. More spore clouds, medium, and medium. We've managed to survive 30 days. Oh, not the blood extractor. No, nope. glass blower. Don't think there's anything else that will help because we do not have enough people. The spores are taking over. Do you see any change to him though? I'm not seeing any change to the model. That could be an interesting thing added later in development. Yeah, he's a little bit more cured. Let's add a bit more. Yeah, everything's just being consumed. Ah, uh, looks like we've lost population as well. People are dying. Well, I am pleased this is a difficult game. I'd have been quite disappointed if we managed to get through this without any problem. Yes, look at our wonderful little village. All succumbing to the poisonous plants. All these sick trees. The spores spreading. And the poor little Anobu. Only 11 wet people now. I'm sorry, mate. Maybe next time. Oof. Oh, reach the end. We managed to do it. We managed to eke it out. We're all pretty much dead. There's like 11 people left, and the Anobu's about to die. But we managed to survive. Nice! I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's the Wandering Village. Um, I'll count that as a victory? No, I don't. Poor thing. Um, hopefully when the game comes out, we will be better prepared to look after this cute little walking home. And we'll finally get to pet him. That's, that's my goal. I don't care about anything else. We have to pet him. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and I hope you visit one of my other videos. Bye!